What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and it's been quite some time since I've made my last update. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the iOS 8.3 and iOS 8.4 untethered jailbreak, talk about the status, what's going on, what could possibly be taking this long to make one. So I wanted to discuss the iOS 8.3, 8.4 jailbreak, you know, talk about release date and where we are along on that. Also, iOS 9, a very big horizon for all jailbreakers or iPhone users alike. I I wanted to talk a little bit about that. I'm not going to go into too much detail as we don't really know much about it, but there's a bit about iOS 9 that we do know, and that could make a significant impact on jailbreaking in the future. Also, iPhone success is right around the corner. We're going to be seeing that a few months from now, and wow, I am so excited to see what Apple puts into that. As well as a couple other minor things, basically give you guys a general idea of in the world of Apple, what's going on right now, what to expect when expecting a jailbreak, and where you should be with your device right now. Now, to begin, the current firmware is iOS 8.3. I thought by the time I'd be back, iOS 8.4 would be out. Well, it's not the case. We're still on iOS 8.4 beta 3, no new beta releases, which is quite interesting. I mean, I don't know what Apple's doing, but we should have seen 8.4 by now. iOS 8.4 is probably going to be released in June, and that's almost certain. It's been far too long in the beta stage. Apple's going to be wanting to push that out right away, especially, especially considering that huge bug, the effective power that's been making the rounds and it's quite an annoyance for all iPhone users. So iOS 8.4 we're going to be seeing very soon and how this relates to the jailbreak we'll get to that in just a second but iOS 8.4 itself is going to bring many welcome changes. For one as an avid music player me I like the music application as it is right now but 8.4 just takes it to a next level. It's so cool very fresh and modern uh, functionality is a lot better with the new mini player and if you guys want to check that out I have posted an iOS 8.4 review. You. Now, aside from that, iOS 8.4 is going to be the firmware that's going to fix that effective power bug. It's annoying. A lot of people spam me and my phone just keeps restarting. My messaging application stops working. It's a very big bug and Apple's in a bad place with it. So they're going to want to release an update for that as soon as they can. And iOS 8.4 is going to be the firmware that will include that update. Now, as for the jailbreak, all of the developers have gone silent. We haven't heard much from any of them. Tai G hasn't been posting anything recently, neither Pangu. Uh, that leads me to believe that they might have something, but they are waiting on an iOS 8.4 release. And hold on before you say, oh, I know it's been forever. They keep saying that. First from 8.1.3 to 8.2, then from 8.2 to 8.3. Next thing you know, they're going to be saying iOS 9. Well, there's a reason they're probably going to wait for iOS 8.4. Now, iOS 8.4 being the very last firmware between iOS 8 and iOS 9, it makes sense for that firmware to be jailbroken. If they were to release the jailbreak on 8.3 right now, then think about it. Apple's going to patch 8.4, and it's very likely that they're ever going to release a jailbreak for 8.4, leaving iPhone 4S users without a jailbreak permanently. And iOS 8.4 in general could be the very last firmware ever to be jailbroken. And that's because of some details we've learned from iOS 9, which is very unfortunate for all jailbreakers, but it's not absolute. Nothing ever is. There's always a way in, but I'll get to that in just a second. So iOS 8.4 will be the firmware to be jailbroken. But even though I say that right now, I wouldn't recommend anyone update from 8.3 to 8.4 just yet. If you guys are still on iOS 8.2, props stay there. I mean, unless you really want to, you can update to 8.3, but I personally would stay on 8.2 if you want a jailbreak. Besides, 8.2 does support the Apple Watch, but again, that's your choice. So 8.4, even though it's very likely to be the most optimistic for the jailbreak, I would still stay on an older firmware until we have that in Word from one of the big developers. Now, there hasn't been much news. We know that iOS 8.4 has been jailbroken by Stefan Esser, otherwise known as Ionic. He, of course, was greedy for himself. I don't blame him. He didn't release that jailbreak, so we haven't seen it. Now, in between that and now, nothing really has changed, but that exploit could be useless because between now the betas and iOS 8.4 final release, Apple could patch things and make that jailbreak impossible for Ionic himself. But anyways, I wanted to talk about that effective power text message message bug. I'm sure you've heard of it. Everybody knows about it now. You send someone a text message, it shuts down their iPhone. Well, that's a pretty big bug. I mean, that's a very big exploit inside of the system. 
just waiting there for jailbreak developers. It could help expedite that jailbreak process. So thanks to this bug, iOS 8.3 and below could be jailbroken faster. And that's why I say stay on 8.3 because 8.4 is gonna patch this, but it might be possible for jailbreak to come out sooner on older firmwares. That's why it's not worth updating to 8.4 just yet until we have concrete word. And just real quick to recap, iOS 8.4, the jailbreak developers are waiting for it. That's the last firmware between now, iOS 8 and iOS 9. And it makes sense to wait for it, be patient, even though they're being scolded for it by many fans, uh, iOS 8.4 is the place to be. It's really unfortunate that we're not getting any sort of updates from Taiji or Pangu, they're keeping people guessing, but you know, when they're ready to speak, they will. Now, just a moment ago, I did say iOS 9 could possibly be the most difficult firmware ever made to jailbreak. And that's because of a new system that Apple's implementing from rumors and reports. This new system is called Rootless, and it basically would prevent administrators even from getting into their device. While it could be disabled on OS 10.11, of course, on the iPhone, that's not gonna happen. And this could make jailbreaking a very, very difficult, very long and tedious process, if at all it's even possible. It would clamp down on all exploits and ability to find exploit, because inherently, the coding that Apple uses right now for iOS 8 and below, it will always have an exploit in it. Even though it gets harder and harder to find one, the basic coding principle that they use, the way it works, there will always be an exploit. Apple could change that with iOS 9 and make jailbreaking a thing of the past. Now, there could be a good side to it because Apple will be getting rid of jailbreaking. They're gonna need to step up their own game on customization. Future iOS versions could have a lot of customization. Of course, it won't even touch jailbreaking, but it will be a step in the right direction for Apple. After all, they know it's what people want. So basically, iOS 9 could be looking really bad, but until we actually see the beta on June 8th, I wouldn't rule out any possibility of a jailbreak actually happening. Who knows? So what if a dev is so determined to go against Apple with this whole rootless thing that they actually find a new way to jailbreak? And that would be incredible. So I wouldn't rule out any of that until we actually see the firmware. The beta June 8th is when it's going to drop from WWDC 2015. And I'm so excited to see all the changes Apple is going to bring with that. So guys, that's pretty much it when it comes to jailbreaking. Again, the actual developers, Taiji or Pangu, they have not spoken. We haven't really heard anything about it, but I'm putting my bet on iOS 8.4. However, I wouldn't update just yet until we know for sure. Now, the Apple Watch itself could be receiving some sort of customizations, maybe even a mini jailbreak, who knows? It was actually modified a little bit ago, actually a while ago, to run a Safari browser. So from here, who knows what could happen to it? And lastly, just wanted to mention the iPhone 6S. We're going to be seeing that in a few months. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited guys who knows what Apple could bring to it well reportedly what Apple will bring to it is from a technology they've added to the Apple watch first off they're gonna put in that haptic vibration it's a really nice system it's definitely a lot better than standard vibration we have right now and of course they're gonna add force click so you press the display harder it's gonna do something else but anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Just an all around overview of everything that's going on in the Apple world right now. Wanted to share that with you guys. I know it's been a while, but I'm here to stay now. So I will be posting regularly. So thanks for watching, guys. Just a little update. If I know anything, learn anything new, I will be posting that right away. Have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoy this video. Peace.